who else cold call? Yeah. What's your name? I'm Doug. Doug, please meet you. Go to your side. We sell uh, digital signage analytics. So digital is what the fuck is that? <laughs> it's a way for you to measure how many people walk by your TV. <laughs> Oh, sorry, you were saying. Yeah. It was a way for you to make more money from your customers. It was a way for me to make more money from my customers because that's what I really want, right? Yes. That's what I get up every morning thinking about. Yes. More money from my customers. That's right. Really? What's my role? Uh, you're a VP of digital. So every time a VP of digital comes in, he thinks, I want to make more money from my customers. Yes. You sure? Do you want me to tell you what my role is? I just want to go home at five. <laughs> my wife is yelling at me again because I was at work late the last week. And I just don't have time to take calls from people that I know. Yeah, so what do you think about that? They think you need to be fired. You think I? Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Jeez. All right, so uh, let me get started. <laughs> all right, so I'll start. Um, first of all, uh, I will say I don't have a lot of time um, because I'm late, so thank you very much for bearing with me. First rule, everything here you will forget. Anything I say between now at the end of my time, you will not remember. You won't remember this good looking black guy. <laughs> you won't remember my face. You won't remember most likely what I said because most times sales, uh, when we try to teach it, people forget it. Uh, people forget seminars. They forget reading it. That's why I stopped doing PowerPoints. Um, if you really want to do cold calling, I recommend getting training. Um, it's expensive, but it also is a way to you know, really determine whether or not you want to be a salesperson. So first things first, disclaimer. Second thing, is that um, even though you will forget everything, um, I will try to talk to you. And I hope by the way I talk to you, you might remember something. You might remember when I say that the VP of digital marketing doesn't give a fuck about making money. <laughs> he cares about going home. Or she cares about, she has a meeting in two hours or a meeting in one hour she's not prepared for. How are you going to help her get her date? How are you going to help her make it through her date? Are you going to talk about your product? No. Why not? What is her objective? Prepare for that next meeting, right? And what are you doing? Well, that's if you want to distract her, right? Okay. All right, before we go on. So uh, first things first, I always tell people uh, image and self view and your role. If you are going to call or email and you don't like yourself, do you like yourself? Yeah. Where? Really? What's your name? Mike. Mike. Great to meet you. Why do you like yourself? Uh, I don't know. You have no idea why you like yourself, but you somehow believe you do. Yeah. Excellent. All right. Well, even if you don't know why you like yourself, uh, self-image is required for cold calling. Because if you have to pick up the phone and call somebody you don't know, most likely if you don't feel good about yourself, you won't. They'll see. They'll. They'll hear it. Right. Um, also, a lot of people think because they have to cold call, that's what they are in life. They think I'm a cold caller. Um, but I don't think anybody here is a cold caller, right? No? But you are marketing executives, sales executives? Yes? No? All right, everybody, can everybody just please stand? <laughs> Hands up. Hands out. Hands to the side. Hands up. Hands out. I am a rock star. I am a rock star. I am a rock star. I am, a rock star. I am, rock star. I am awesome. I am awesome. <laughs> I am awesome. Yeah. Woo. And I feel good. So let's give everybody a round of applause. I didn't tell you you could sit, <laughs> but you can sit. All right, um, so uh, the reason why I did that is because you guys have had lunch, you're tired, and most likely, I would say myself, if I'm tired, is I don't really want to hear from this guy. I don't want to deal with this. He's wasting my time. I got better things to do. Where's the next piece of coffee? If you don't have a positive self-image or an image that, yeah, I feel good, then every time you call somebody, they will hear that in your voice, and then they will treat you the same way how you feel about yourself. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, how do you feel? 11. Uh -oh. Awesome. <laughs> Charlie Sheen. <laughs> on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being really shitty, and 10 being awesome, how do you feel? 10. Wait, what number was that? 10. 
one more time. I think. Yes. Yes. yes! Woo! Because if you feel like a 10, then you speak to people on the phone like a? Yes. And when you talk on the phone like a 10, they hear a? Yes. And when a 10 is talking to them, how are they going to talk to you? Yes. Exactly, right? So if the CEO, how many people call the CEO? You call call the CEO? I did. Really? Yeah. Well, how did that conversation go? Went okay. okay. Walk me through it. Uh, What's your name again? Go ahead. Hey. Uh, hold on, because it must be real. All right. Call me. <laughs> hey, Joe. Uh, yeah. Hey, you know my dad. He just passed away. Yeah. Uh, I just wanted to let you know that and talk to you how I'm taking over this business and just. You know, thought that you guys might need some help and safety. Yeah, yeah. Wait, what's your dad's name again? Jack. Jack. Yeah. He was a good guy. Yeah, I like Jack. And you're his son, huh? Yes, sir. Wow, Jack was awesome. And you're his son. So you're a 10 like Jack, huh? Absolutely. Good, good. How much money do you want from me today? <laughs> I don't want any any money from you today. Wait, hold on, stop. You telling me that you said that your father, that Jack's, your father had died and that's how you got the cold call? Yeah. That's awesome sale. How many more of those do you have? <laughs> <laughs> but it worked, right? It worked. What happened at the end? Um, I got to the next meeting with his... Uh, was that the close? No. What was the close? The close was uh, with his uh, director of operations. No, no, what was the close? Oh. Every time you call, you have a close. But getting to him, him to put me... Him to think it was a good idea and then pass me along. And he did that to you on the first call? Yeah. So that was a one call close. Yes. Well, for, well, no, but I mean, not. I mean, I got to the next call. But you got the close. The close with him. But my objective with his call. What did I, I don't know. <laughs> okay. If you have a self image of a ten, right? What is the close? You if you, you get what? You get what you want. That's right. Yeah. Right. And what do you want in a cold call? What do you want on a cold call? Well, no, it has to be specific. Yeah, I want something. A meeting what do you or want? money. What? Well, talk to me. I'm, hey, man, talk to me. You want what? A meeting or money. Yeah, a meeting or money? No, it has to be one thing. You want what one you thing. One. Well, what do you want on your cold call? I want money. No, no. Are you seriously? On your first call, you want cash? Yes. On the first call, <laughs> what do you sell? I sell a marketing system for real estate professionals. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. If you're, if you're I get sleepy when you guys start talking. You sell a what? If you're a relationship-based realtor, I can get you more clients. Ooh. Is that what I want? Are you a relationship-based realtor? Uh, I don't know. Who are you? you? Build your business mostly on referral. Well, no, I just might. Do you like talking to people? Uh, maybe. Okay. Well, my system not only is proven to work, I'll guarantee it. <laughs> <laughs> You were getting me there. I was, I was getting closer. Then you said something about a system. Right, right. Okay, so you did you tell me how to get a referral? Yeah. Tell me more. Is that something that you're looking to try and increase? Well, you know my day, right? Like I said, it's a shitty day. I did my wife, my ex-wife. She. I hear you. So you, call from, yeah. Yeah. so you probably want to make sure you make the most amount of money. No, not too much. I don't want her to find out. You know, she, <laughs> she finds out. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But you did it one. So, tell me a little about yourself first before I kind of get into what I do. It's not for everyone. I only work with No, I don't want to talk to you. I don't know who you are, but you said something about referrals. Yeah, I can help you get more referrals. Oh, how many more? Depends how long you are doing work. Okay. So, um, if you have a self image of a 10, right, and you believe you're a 10, and you think I'm a 10. You're going to talk to me like how? A 10, right? And if you're talking to me like a 10, you want to know like how do 10s talk to each other? Direct to the point. No, 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 no. OK, OK, let's put it this way. Um, let's start a cold call again. I'm a 10. You're a 10. And I'm a? That's <coughs> uh, Yeah, but what do I do? Be a realtor. Good. Ready? Okay. Let's go. Hey, is this Tark? Yeah, who this? Hey, uh, this is Grant. Guy, I don't know any Grant. Where are you from? Yeah, I know you probably get lots of calls. Oh, yeah, Grant, whatever, man. What do you want? Are you with a client right now? Dude, I'm busy, dude. I gotta make money. <laughs> are you with a client right now? Dude, don't ask me my business. Who are you? What do you want? Okay, well, I know you get lots of calls from your brief. I work with relationships. Like, okay. <laughs> I'm a 10. Uh, are you a 10? Yeah. Talk to me like a 10. Really? Okay. 
Ring, ring. Hey, the guitar? Yeah! Who this? Cool, this is Grant. Grant, I don't know you, Grant. Did I catch you at a bad time? <sighs> yeah, bro, I have a meeting in the next five minutes. This is gonna be quick. Yeah, I can be real brief for you. Listen, I work with relationship or referral based for Yeah, I don't know who those people are, man. Grant, what are you about? Are you a relationship or referral based for you, 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 you call me, aren't you? I know, but not every realtor is. Listen, I don't have time for this. Why are you calling me? I'm calling because I have something for you, potentially, if you are a relationship or referral based for I'm not going to get into my You want to try? Okay, let me try. Okay. All right. Where's my phone? Anybody got a phone? Oh, yeah. All right. Hello? Grat! Hey, hello, who is this? Grat! <laughs> hello, who is this? Grat, you there? Yeah. Grat! Hello? This is tired, Grat, stop playing. Grat! Hey, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know you. Grat, oh stop, man. Grat, this is tired. Yeah, I don't know tired. You don't, don't, are you kidding me, man? Grat, you sure you don't remember me? Yeah, no, I don't remember you at all. Oh, you must have forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell me what you have to do. I'm not a salespeople. You went. You don't have to I'll tell me what you have to do. Like you have to go somewhere. You're like, dude, I have to go somewhere. Hundred percent. You tell me. You when you call somebody, they just hang up on you. Click. When yeah. you when you repeat their name over and over again, they hang up on you. Yeah. And say nothing else. Yeah. One more time. Somebody calls you and you repeat only their name. You don't say anything else. You just say Grant. 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 Okay. Okay. Exactly. Do you know why? Because tens don't play patterns. Tens do not play patterns. Do you know who play patterns? Low level reps. Hi, my name is Bill. I'm calling from XY Company. Are you a retailer? I'd love to tell you what we do. Hi, my name is Tark. Is this a sales call? Yes, this is a sales call. May I have two minutes of your time? Patterns. Everybody who gets a call is trained to know patterns. Ten people don't talk in patterns. Right? Because if you're a 10, who are you? Are you a pattern? You're a hard ass. Yeah. You're on top of the world. You interrupt people. You don't give a shit because you're a 10. Let's try that one more time. Okay. Are you a 10? Who am I, the realtor or am I the salesperson? What do you want? <laughs> the salesperson. Are you going to be the salesperson? Sure. All right, cool. Ring, ring. Hey, it's Tark. Yeah, who's this? Tark, it's great. What's going on, buddy? <laughs> Dude, I do not have to. Grant, this is a sales call. Tark, man, this is Grant. You haven't heard from you? Hold on cool. a second. Yes. Grant? Tark, hey, hey, we'll slow down. I sent you an email this morning. You didn't get it? You sent me an email? Yeah, you didn't get that email this morning? Wait, what time you send that email? 7.50 a.m. Hold on, let me check. Are you not up in the morning? See, hold on. This is what I did. Yeah. Let me check for the email. <laughs> Am I still on the phone? Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. So. Yeah. Did you did I hang up on you? Yeah. No. I was like, who's this Grant? All right. So patterns. Um, first thing is when you call, if you sound like a salesperson, you will be treated like a salesperson. <laughs> if you sound like a ten, you'll be treated like a ten. CEOs. How do CEOs talk? Like when a CEO calls another CEO, do they start pitching product? Right. Who's the next victim? Hmm. I need another victim. I'm smiling over there. I'm smiling. Hi, how's it going? What's your name? Me? Yeah, <laughs> why? Carrie. Carrie, yes. what do you sell? I sell software data collection. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, have you been awake for this entire I, time? I, I just got in. You just got in? Yeah. You're late? Yeah. My goodness, that's uh, awesome. You know, I'm late sorry. people always make me upset. You know, my time's important. I do, yeah. <laughs> that's why I joined. I knew there were only 20 minutes left. I wanted to see you. So do you sell something? I do. What do you sell? I sell tools to make government workers' lives easier. And do you cold call? I do. What was your last cold call like? Mm, it was so long ago, I don't remember. Are you a 10? Yeah. So if you're a 10, you forgot what your last cold call was like? <laughs> yeah, because I've been doing, I've been closing other deals. Oh, okay, so you're a closer. I am, uh, that's what I'm doing now. Good, all right, cool, yeah. all right. 
Somebody raise their hand. Who's the person who had a cold call in the last 24 hours? All right, somebody, what's your name? Kevin. One more time? Kevin. Kevin. All right, Kevin, you're a 10? Yes, I'm 10. Really? What was your cold call like? Uh, ring, ring. Yeah, who is? Hey, Godwin. Hey, this, uh, this is Kevin, remember? Dave referred me. Uh, who's Dave? Dave McClure. Oh, Dave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Dave's a good guy. Dave's yeah. a good guy. Yeah, listen, I don't have a lot of time. Yeah, so then, uh, no, I just, I just want to see how you're doing, guys. You just, you, could we talk a little later, please? Is this urgent? Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, this is, you know, you're, you're a good buddy of mine, and I, I care about you, and I just want to see how you're doing. No, no, I asked a question. Is this urgent? Yeah. This is urgent? Yes. Tell me why this is urgent. Because I want to... Uh, I've heard you've been struggling with your wife. Yes, yes, you can tell people it's an urgent call. So when a 10 calls another 10, right, they treat it as urgent. So I have somebody say, can I say that the call is urgent? You can say the call is urgent, but once you say it's urgent, you better be ready, right? You better have ammunition ready to go shoot. So if something is urgent, how do you tell me it's urgent? Who has an urgent product? Okay, who has a non-urgent product? They don't have to buy it today. No, like seriously, they don't have to buy the product today. Like, dude, it can take a month, three months, three months sales cycle. You sure? All right, what's it? Depends who you are. That's okay, I am who I'm supposed to be, you want me to be. Okay. Um, if you've got a sports team, yes. That needs fundraising. Yes, we should talk. Okay, um, that's not urgent, is it? If you guys need fundraising, it is. So I want something that's not urgent. Is it urgent? Oh no, no, no you're good. It's not urgent. So then, why are you selling? Well, because it could help me. Well, hold on a second. Why is it not urgent? Well, it's not urgent because I can call you in two months. You can get help then. But why not get help now? Are you a ten? Of course. We're fine. So then, it's not urgent. <laughs> Well, it's not urgent for you. Are you a 10? I'm a 10. What does a 10 say? A 10 says it's urgent. Good. Let's go forward. Let's go to But I thought you said a non urgent problem. I'm always testing to see if you're a 10. You could. You could when you're ready to wake up and be a 10, you can wake up and be a 10. Cool. If you still want to sleep today, <laughs> then seriously, if you want to leave this presentation, which I told you to forget, nah. and you want to leave it at 3, you can leave it at three. If you want to leave it at two, you can leave it at two. If you want to leave it at one, you can be one. But if you're a 10, when do I need your product? You need a 10. You sure? Yes, yes I'm not sure. Let's get going. <laughs> ring, ring. Ring, ring. Yeah, who's this? Uh, Sam King from Sam I don't know a Sam. I'm sorry, is this a sales call, Sam? This is a sales call, but i got to help you because your customer is about to scoop Click. Back. Do you know me? Usually I do, in my business. You do? In your business? So you don't cold call? No. Okay, who cold calls? I want cold calls. I don't want like, I know him, because that's a referral. That's good. I want people who are like, they don't know me from Adam, they hate my guts, their ex-wives are suing them, their kids are flunking out of college, and they don't want to talk to me and they'll hang up. Who does this? Real Are you the only one? <laughs> Hold on a second. Come, talk to me. Is there nobody else who sells to people who absolutely hate them? <laughs> so you guys all work in businesses where you have good relationships with your prospects, they want to hear from you, and they most likely will give you the business on the first call. Okay, so let's get back into it again. Who here has a business where they have to call somebody that they don't know. And when I say call, you're not calling a rep, you're calling a CEO, CFO, COO, C level executive. Yes? Yes. Alright, what's your name? Alfred. Alf Alfred. Alfred. Tar. Pleasure to meet you. Right. Bring. Hey Tar, this is Alfred. Alfred. I don't know an Alfred. Who are you? Well, congratulations. I just closed your, your successful Kickstarter campaign. Yeah, well. <laughs> hey, you know what? And you're not going to be able to serve that Kickstarter campaign without a product. Like, yeah. oh, wait, 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 Alfred. Did I tell you something about how good I am at Kickstarter campaigns, alright? <laughs> I am a rock star, man. I raised 25 million in one week. Who the fuck are you? How much experience do you have in Barnes communication? Do you know how big that was? I got a 10% commission. See, here's the thing now a 10 talking to another 10. You just told me congratulations that I'm a 10. 
So if you're a 10, what are you, you going to do? I'm going to say no. I'm you're a 10. Awesome. You're awesome. Yeah. <laughs> and what do you want me to do? And if you want to be more awesome, you got to buy my product. No. Awesome. If you are a 10 and I'm a 10. Talk about yourself. Exactly. Because what do 10s, 10s are so comfortable. Are you in a hurry? No. Why? Because you're a 10. And if you're talking to another 10, don't you want to hear the 10 just go off about himself? Tired, you're a 10. Yeah, let me tell you how good I am. So you tell me congratulations. So let's start again. All right. Ring. Hey, Tori, how are you? This is Alfred. Alfred, I have no idea who you are. Was this a sales call? Yeah, yeah, but I, I just want to congratulate you on a Kickstarter campaign. Yeah. Uh, okay. yeah, that was good. Yeah, I had clothes about two of those. Oh, uh, hold on a second. <laughs> are you a 10? I am a 10. What does a 10 do when a 10 is talking to another 10? Oh, hold on, let this 10 say. He said he's a 10. Let's see how 10 he is. If you're a 10 talking to another 10, what you're going to do as a 10? Talk about yourself. You are a 10. How confident are you? Doesn't need to be said. <laughs> exactly. Confident. Exactly. So if you're a 10, you don't need to say anything. Okay. Just let me go on with the bad self. All right, all right. Yeah, that Kickstarter was awesome. Yeah, you saw it, huh? I saw it. I was watching really closely. That's right. That's right. Yeah, I, I worked that after nine months. It was hard work. Yeah, so uh, how are you going to complete that? No, come on. Dude, I'm telling you about myself. Dude, ask me. Tell me. Ask me. Go ahead. So how did you think about that? That was brilliant. I know, right? Yeah, my boss didn't think I could pull it off. But you did, though. Yeah, dude, let me tell you something. I work hard. Yeah. Wait, who are you again? I can tell. This is Alfred. Alfred. Yeah, what do you want? Hey, so what's, what, what's your boss telling you what you need right now? No, 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 no. You can keep me going. So the aim of a cold call is to keep somebody on the phone. The only way you're going to keep somebody on the phone, it doesn't matter what you talk about. So, okay, I... Do you think Stephen Curry's going to play tonight? Huh? Do you think Stephen Curry's going to play tonight? Do, is, do I like Stephen Curry? You think Stephen Curry is going to play tonight? Do I like Stephen Curry? I don't know. So you got to ask him. I'm tired, you like Stephen Curry? It doesn't matter though. You're an NBA. Are, are you like NBA? <laughs> what? You can ask. Yeah, no, no, you can ask. Are you going to watch the game? Yes. I'll tell you. Yeah, I hate Stephen Curry, man. That guy, damn. I lose money. <laughs> but you let me. I'm a 10. If you're a 10, you can ask me anything. The only goal of, say, a cold call is to keep people on the phone so that you can get the clothes. Right? And it doesn't matter if the clothes comes from, I like Stephen Curry, I hate Stephen Curry. Because what's the clothes for your, for your, for your sale? He needs our, well, demo. We gotta get a demo. No, no, that's not the clothes. What's the clothes? The next meeting. Exactly. So if I hate Stephen Curry and I rant on Stephen Curry for the next five minutes, and I say, okay, what do you need? And you get your meeting, you are a 10. Because you just want, the only thing that matters in the cold call is the clothes, right? And the clothes is what you need people to do to get the next thing. So you don't need to spend 10 minutes. So if your cold, if your close is, I need you to agree to a meeting. If the close is, I need you to refer me to the person who's relevant for this process. If the close is, I need you to tell me how your process works. If the close is, I need you to refer me or tell me who's in charge of the buy cycle, that's the close, right? So tens, anytime I teach this course, I always tell people, the only thing that matters is being a 10. People always tell me, what's the technique of 10? How do you stay on the phone with somebody at 10? Because when you're a 10, nobody bothers you. You never sweat shit. You don't have to talk about yourself. You're just like, dude, tell me all your troubles, right? If you're a 10, would you like to hang up on me right now? You can ask that. Dude, I know you're busy. You want to hang up right now, just let me know. Because a 10, everything slides off. Ten people never sweat. They always break for it. Ten people always get belt from. Ten people, their shoulders are back. They relax. They're never in a hurry to call. Right? If you're a ten, if you're a five, you're gonna do something different. If you're a three, you're gonna do worse. And if you're a zero, not every day you can be a ten. All right. How much time do I got? <laughs> All right. Um, sure, sure, sure. All right, so a 10 always knows how to make a contract. 
Okay, so tens are, they're very organized. Tens uh, never wing it. Tens never over talk. Tens are never interested in showing off their knowledge. Tens always use contracts. What are contracts? If you get sales training, you can hear about this, but a contract has to require uh, two parties. Contract requires um, performance. A contract requires time constraint. A contract requires capability. All right? So if you're a 10, you are able to engage in a contract with anybody you talk to on the phone. All right, so how does that work? Where's my phone? Can I drop it? I'm going to tell him. All right. I need that phone. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, who here has to sell a product or call into a person who is very impatient, pissed off, and usually just hangs up? <laughs> Do all everybody stays on the phone with you guys? Yeah, government workers. Oh no, <laughs> you're not in a hurry. Oh, you call me, great. <laughs> I have nothing to do. No. All right, there's nobody here. Okay, let's ask another question. Who here has made quota so far as we head into Q2? April, May, June. Who has made quota? I'm a 10, so I don't need a quota. <laughs> no, actually, 10s love quotas. 10s always kill quotas. For a 10, a quota is like, but whatever, man. Quotas, <laughs> already broken three times over. Who here has made quota? Okay, who here will not make quota next month as we end Q2? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nobody will end it. Okay, who here is... <laughs> All right, who here is praying they make quota? There you go. <laughs> All right, okay, so um, you're praying you make quota, right? What's the average uh, sale, what's the average uh, ticket size for your product? Five grand. Five grand, right? What's the sales cycle length? <laughs> Two months. Two, Two months, months 60, 90 days? Excellent. How many touch points? Three. Three touch points. Who's the first person you touch? Uh, CEO or VP. CEO or VP, right? Good. Okay, so you CEO VP, all right? Um, I'm the CEO. You're going to call me, and I'm not going to be belligerent because, you know, I'm having a good day. My quotas are up. My salespeople are working really hard. And let's talk through. All right, ring, ring. Hello? Yeah. Hey, it's Douglas Fox from Lincoln. How's it going? Yeah, who's this? It's Douglas from Lincoln. I don't know Douglas. I don't know Lincoln. What do you want? Make it brief. Uh, we're going to help you sell more. Okay, so um, the reason why you want a contract is when somebody says, yeah, what do you want? It is your time to establish the ground rules. Are 10 always in order? Are 10s always in order? Are 10s managers of their relationships? Yeah. Good. So if you're a 10, you're going to manage your relationship. Do 10s let people manage them? Why not? Because they're 10s. You don't fuck with me. I'm a 10, right? So a 10 manages a relationship through something called a contract. You'll hear some people say it's an upfront contract. It's a minute, right? And in the minute, you identify the parties. You talk about what's their, what the performance requirements are for each person in the party. You talk about, oh my goodness, what did I write? Uh, you talk about the constraints. And you confirm capabilities, the ability to perform the contract. OK? So. Uh, Usually it will go like this, ha, my name is blah, 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 I know that you are busy, for example. If, we, if I have one minute of your time, will you let me know whether or not we should keep talking? Or if I have one minute, will you let me know whether or not you should hang up on? Or, and so the contract is for a minute. Right, because remember, your cold call can last at max, maybe two, right? So you have a contract, you have one minute in time, right? You ask for performance, which is, I'm going to ask you 
I'm going to tell you what we do, or you're going to give your spiel. I'm going to tell you X. And after you get X, I want you to perform the task, some Y task, which usually is what would you like to do next? Because tens always give their prospects <coughs> power. I call it prospect power. As a 10. Because as a 10, how much power do you have? Okay, are we tens today? <laughs> I can't hear you. Are we tens today? Yes. yes. Oh, Jesus. It sounded like a 5.7. <laughs> Are we tens today? Yes. yes. All right. How much power do we have? Oh, I have it. One more time. Okay. How much power do we have? Okay. How much power can you give? <laughs> a lot. <laughs> All right. So tens have prospect power. So tens can give, tens always give their prospect power. Would you like to hang up on me now? Listen, if you need to go, you need to go. Listen, you don't like what I'm saying? You don't like what I'm saying? You sound unhappy. You sound pissed off. You sound uncomfortable. Tens are always able to tell their prospects, if you want out, you can leave. Right? Because they can just move. Prospects, okay, so I was gonna talk about Chaldini. Anybody read Chaldini? Chaldini fans? Real estate chart. <laughs> All right. So Cialdini always uh, talks about the first principle of uh, influence, something called reciprocity. That means if I give you something, you can give me back. So if you give your prospect power, what are they going to give you? Power, because it's something called again the principle of consistency and commitment. If you ask somebody to do one thing, the next time you ask them, they will keep doing stuff, right? And some, uh, well, we'll talk about that later. But anyway, so the upfront contract, I have one minute. I'm gonna tell you about what we do or what I need. I'm gonna ask you to tell me whether or not we should keep talking or whether or not you wanna refer me. And will you agree? So they have to agree. Do you agree? In your cold call, you're always asking for agreement. You're always asking for verbal confirmation. Are you okay? I am. Would you like to keep going? No. Would you like to stop? Yeah. Would you like me to call you back? No. You sound unhappy. I am. <laughs> Is there anything I can do? No. Well, what would you like to do now? I'd like to hang up. Are you sure? <laughs> Nobody, the time, anytime people hang up on you like that, usually they're running away from you. No, seriously. If you, when people hang up on you like, uh, it's usually they're running away because of one thing. They're afraid that if they stay on the phone longer with you, slowly but surely, you're going to reach down in the back of their pocket, and you're going to take out their wallet, and you're going to take a check. Because if you're a 10, is not the only reason why people are afraid of you? Yes? Yeah. 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 Yes! Yeah. Do you guys where I'm going? If your self-image about yourself is so confident, when somebody hangs up on you, you literally believe it's because they're afraid of you. You will never believe it's because you suck, you are terrible, your product sucks or your company sucks. It's always going to be about them not being a 10. Because do 10s hang up on each other just like that? No. Oh, really? Does a CEO talk to another CEO and then say, <laughs> no. The only people who hang up on you in a cold call are people who are afraid that you're just going to lock them in and suck out their cash. And that makes a good feeling. <laughs> right? So every cold call is a fun time. Because you just can't wait to see what you get on the other side. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah, that time. I'm so up. The person who's calling next is 10 p.m. calling from London. Oh, wow. Okay. Next. Do I get one question? Um, do you have time to be here after 4.45? They will all, they will all stick around because they like you, see? Do <laughs> <laughs> you have them enough to stick around? That's a question. Oh, that's a tough question. <laughs> um, I will stick around here because I got to make cold calls, but um, 
I'll be here. So, thank you guys. You guys are awesome. I know this was wild and crazy, and I hope a little different experience than just showing you some slides about sales. All right, rock on.